Hey video guys, so I'm coming at you with another video in my Mavic series, making videos really controversial kinda. And today we are talking about why you should purge your friends list. Or perhaps not. Let's get into it. But of course, if you're new to my channel, what up, my name is Mitch, Maverick Mitch, hey Mitch Mitch, all the Mitches, and pretty much I like to talk about what I like to talk about, so pop culture reviews and current events within the scope of entertainment, culture, and purpose, so TV and movie reviews, got those, pop culture, social commentary, got those too, so check out those videos as you're finishing this video. Okay. I've been looking on Facebook and a lot of people have been posting like I'm, I'm deleting my friends, I'm deleting you, purging my friends list and all this stuff. I even saw, you know, a, a post in which gave you a link to see who are the Trump supporters in, in your friends list so you can go ahead and delete them off and everything and then it made me one, like, <laughs> like look around, there's anyone like deleting me, like doing a tough sense and everything and so, <laughs> so in doing so, it prompted me to ask a question on Facebook. <laughs> Again, using what I posted on Facebook, using the top metal bending GIF. So yeah, going into it, I said, so I want to do a video on this. I see a lot of folks purging their friends list. Now sure, I can understand deleting truly toxic and negative people, but I wouldn't want to delete someone who has opposing views as me. I want to know what other folks are thinking or else run the risk of creating an echo chamber. Maybe it's the ide idealistic or apologetics in me that hopes I can sway someone to my side. I mean, my politics and perspective were wildly different four years ago. So who to say folks cannot change tomorrow? And obviously I said like drop your thoughts below and, and so I can formulate my thoughts. And, and again, please and thank you and cheers. So what I want to do next is kind of go into the comments and kind of have an open discussion about this, right? And and of course, I want to thank everyone who participated and provided their input and pretty much helped me build my content because it gave me a, a, a this was really a great topic. Everyone had a lot of input to put in. So this was a really good topic I think that we can all dive into. So yeah. Next, I also want to preface like, you know, this is a discussion. This isn't anything in which there's any right answers to. And then also to that vein, like this isn't something that people need to this is not judging on anyone right like on the end of the day you're gonna do you and live the life that you're gonna live right and so however you feel that is the case that's cool but I don't know for me personally I came in this situation a little bit different just because okay so I preface this kind of like clickbait why you should purge your friends list but I have it in a different view in which as someone who is like I said as someone who's idealistic and someone who is in apologetics I just don't feel this way like I could I could see someone who is super negative per se and but I would want to even if they have the opposing views I would want to hear them out you know uh, but we can, we can dive into it, right? So, yeah. So, of, co of course, in my post, I'm not going to go into everyone, but I pretty much kind of want to highlight, like, maybe two or three on, on each side. You know, someone who would want to not purge their friends list and someone who, who would be, right? And so, yeah. All right. So, in the first person I have here, and they say, here's what I know. Honestly, people are deleting people because they are they support a person that policies are not beneficial to them and their family. When people support that person or policies, it makes you feel that you do not care about the welfare or livelihood in this country. For example, I believe women should have the choice to have an abortion, my body, my choice. If you think that is not right and that I should not have control over my body. If you vote to take away that, that right away from me, you do not care about my welfare. I only want people in my life that want the best for me. So if that's not you, doesn't matter how long I've known you, peace. That was an example of why people are cutting people out of their lives. Some, something like positive vibes only. You feel me? And positivity for the specific person may not be to cut a few people loose. So what we have here is I'm gonna call Team Ash Ketchum, and I know she's gonna be. I know she's gonna look at this like Ash Ketchum. I don't even watch Pokemon. Why are you gonna give me Ash Ketchum? Like I know she's gonna comment this, but like you know, I know who you love you, Vivian Banks, yo. <laughs> but okay, so the idea there is like 
the more the the takeaway there is positive vibes only, right? And so, like even in my like prompt, right? I said I can understand people taking away that are truly negative and truly like toxic people. And I and and she brings out the point like positive positive vibes only. Why would you want? to keep someone of negative value in your life, right? And so to keep everything positive. And you know, I, I, I can agree to that, you know, to a certain degree, so, yeah, so definitely. So the next person put down, I had this conversation with my mom yesterday because I unfriended my godmother. I explained to her that I didn't cut her from my life for obvious reasons, but if I share with you explanation and resources to help you understand why black lives matter and why we as Filipinos need to stand with them and then you go reply with I respect your opinion but I'll stick with mine I can't I can't I won't I can't be okay with that opinion because that opinion is fatal to the black community my black friends and my black students period so the next person I'm gonna call Marie if you get the idea you get that you get the reference so that's cool but this one uh, like obviously I, I i'm not judging again like you do you but this is something that i wouldn't nece i wouldn't necessarily do like even if again someone has opposing views to me i i i would maybe block them but i wouldn't unfriend them only because if it's a relative family friend you know you may see them in person and i feel like that might be awkward i mean if if it's if maybe they're an ocean away and, and you feel more inclined to do so but that's and that's on you but and I, and I just want to lean into a portion in which the situation of everything that's going on, I think emotions are heightened and in, in which people are acting impulsively like, yo, you have opposing views and I don't like it and I'm, I'm just going to take you out of, out of my friends list. And I can, uh, uh, I don't know, I disagree with that just because I have seen it in other friends who are posting the same kind of idea in which they're like, you know what, I kind of regret deleting them just because... I was in I was caught up in the moment right and and like how I said in my prompt like my views and my politics and my perspective was vastly different four years ago and and how, like who's to say that you can't change it next year if not tomorrow and so and and like again to Marie like yo like she had the respect again not judging um, your, your godmother had the respect to saying hey you have your opinions I have mine and it's she's not trying to impose her stuff and like and I and I get your point too you know like if you're not gonna fight for the cause I guess um, then why 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 be friends you know and so um, I think that's a little bit more abrasive personally again not judging and you're welcome to uh, and that's another point like I feel like people who are posting on this posts have they feel like it was in their need to justify their actions um and and that's all that's cool that's good <laughs> that's cool but like personally like and i'll go into it like i i i just like this is not something that i would inc be inclined to do so yeah so the next person i have goes and says i couldn't agree more friend six years ago i lean far right not anymore however just because my friends disagree with me or vice versa doesn't mean i will remove them from my life i enjoy having conversation with folks of different opinions so next one is one of my friends um we were in honor guard together uh totally cool i, I wish you the best uh, i know we keep in track on facebook so i definitely love hearing from you and everything so thank you for all the support too so i mean from this fabric weaving person <laughs> all right so I, I you know what he's mentioned is kind of like that resonates with me like i said like he said like you know he his his views were changed over time just because of all these conversations and like myself you know like there are like i have conversation my, my my perspective is constantly changing and i wouldn't want to uh be in a situation where i i, I don't right and so and there's this idea in which you can quote unquote de-radicalize someone as someone who has maybe one one extreme views on e either side of the aisle having them having an open discussion made them bring it to the middle in which there could be more compromises and i and i totally agree with that so yeah so the next person i picked um just has something really short and simple cancer culture is toxic so yeah the next person i'm going to call fifth element and of course i'm going to wish your family the best um, I hope everything is fine as as fine as can be. And again, um, my prayers go out to you guys, this family. 
Um, so, but anyway, your 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 comment is cancel culture is toxic is pretty short and sweet. It gets to the point, and it kind of like epitomizes this whole post, right? And so, and other than my other friend commented back like cancel culture is only toxic to the people who are canceled. And so it kind of again. It, and kind of now, now mixing everything together with other other comments that people have mentioned. And sorry, I couldn't like put everyone, but there's a lot of comments. And again, thank you for everyone who participated, and thank you for um, even some of the compliments. But thank you. So there's this idea in which a lot of people have the same kind of overall consensus. If you are going to argue just to argue, then that's not going to be beneficial. If if someone is gonna just attack your views that's not gonna be beneficial you know but if there's a level in which you can agree to disagree and kind of find a middle ground and in which have you can have a civil discussion and then people are like yeah you know what I'm not gonna delete you guys off that you know and and people like if if we have different views and hopefully we can come to like we can walk away like still being friends that's cool but we're just gonna have different opposing views and I think to me, that's the best scenario, right? In, in which you are in a situation where things are kind of like level-headed and, and you, you're you disagreeing with each other, but not to the point where, like I said, you're, you're, like, you're just canceling each other, right? So it kind of goes back into what I was saying earlier with me being very idealistic and very like into apologetics, right? And and going into what I said also in my original prompt about being an echo chamber, and one of my friends mentioned like, well, echo chamber doesn't sound as bad if you can get away from it or if you can leave at any time. And that's the problem with echo chamber. It's, how, it's like it's like being in an escape room without even knowing you're in an escape room, right? And and like there's this idea where you can walk away, hashtag walk away. But how do you know that you're in an echo chamber if you do not have opposing views? countering your arguments, right? If you're just surrounding your is surrounding yourself with the same people that follow all your ideals, um, it could be problematic just because you're like, oh yeah, you're just like, yes, 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 oh yes, oh, you're, you're so great, yes, yes, yes. Like, it's just, in, you're just in like this yes bubble, you know? And so, I mean, personally, I wouldn't want to be in that situation. And, and me personally, again, um, there's no right answers, but me personally, I have friends on my Facebook friends, acquaintances really, but they are like full on socialists. Like they are like borderline Antifa. And and I wanna know what they think. Like they, some of them are like, let's abolish the police. And like, maybe you agree, but like, I was like, oh, you don't know where that's gonna go. And that's not a great idea. And so there's this, like, I would not want to silence voices, right? I wouldn't want to not hear you out. Like. Okay, so, and I break this down, and I break this down this way, because, I, again, I'm into apologetics, right? And, and when it comes to, like, apologetics in Christianity and all this stuff, um, when it's true apologetics, you want to come to the truth. It's never about, it, we have the saying in apologetics, it, there's no point of winning an argument if losing a soul. When it comes to apologetics, it's about coming to the truth together. And it's never about like, because if, if I feel like I'm in the truth, then I don't have a fear per se that I should listen to your opposing views because I feel like I'm in the truth, I'm in the right. And I want you to come to that realization. Also, I need to be have an idea and be open to the idea that maybe I'm wrong. If I'm looking for the truth, I need to see the truth too. And so, and I guess that's where I'm leaning towards in all of this, in which I want other people to find the truth. And that's when, when I say like lean into my side and that's what it means, the truth. And, and, and I, like I said, when it comes to the situation in the climate of everything that's going on, emotions are high and you can't really think straight uh, when emotions are high. Wrapping it up, like I said, thank you for everyone who participated in this little prompt that I had, and I and I and I, I thought was it was very fruitful. Blessed be the fruit, <laughs> and you know, like it was a good discussion to be had. And like I said, this isn't anything about judging anyone, and then obviously, in the end of the day, you do you, right? And so, but it's just for me, I just want to express the idea in which you know we should be able to come together because okay, so lasting thoughts I guess is that the climate and the situation and, and things that are going up and with heightened emotions there is everything's being divisive right everyone either you either you have to look at things very black and white pun intended but I mean like you either have to have this view or have this view it's it's never the middle ground there's no there's no nuance or um, gray area you know it's always one or the other and I think as Americans right 
we need in an election coming up we need to be able to come to the table and talk about certain things and and there are a lot of gray areas in which a lot of things and you may have one view or the other but maybe there's a moderate view in which we can be at the table together because again there's a lot of things that are being divisive and i think that's why i kind of want to go into this um topic just because whether i'm a libra whether again i i am an apologetic but like i want to be able to um, come to the table and talk to each other rather than just, just canceling each other off right off just because of who I perceive that you may already have or your thoughts that I perceive that you may already say just because of one post or whatever um, that you may have that you may have shared right and so in the end of the day we should come together and 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 calm down eat together and and share a drink or two because i think we have more in common and i think we can learn from each other even if it's opposing views so um yeah well thanks for watching uh, comment below tell me what you think have you purged people from your friends list tell me what the discussion um that you may have if you agree or disagree and let me know what you think so comment below smash that like button help me build my channel and uh, help me build these more conversations because i love having it and i love having you guys um be with me in this journey of my youtube career so yeah thanks again for watching you can follow me on my instagram at hey mitch mitch you can follow my joint instagram at it's mandatory fun where i do other videos with my friend jen and check out your next video see you then peace 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 be with you i am feeling lonely and i want to make it start to end the right Fading it too slowly Where those can lift me up this time You were the only